mennyire jellemző, hogy leszólítanak az utcán, és ha igen, akkor kosaradával kapcsolatban, és ha igen, ha, ha igen, akkor milyen korosztály szokott? Arra vagyok kíváncsi, hogy a mai fiatalok, ilyen tizen pár éves NBA fenek, tudják-e, hogy ki az a Dávid Kornél, és hogy játszott az NBA-ben, és, és épül-e a Dékon 18 brand a fiatalok között? Hát nem tudom, az előfordul, hogy megszólítanak, meg oda jönnek hozzám, aláírást kérni, vagy ilyesmi, tehát azért az előfordul, de hál' meg abszolút nem terhes, tehát azért nem olyan mértékben, mint abban az időben. Abban az időben azért, pedig akkor még nem volt Twitter, Facebook, meg ilyesmi, abban az időben azért terhes volt. Tehát amikor, amikor kim van az embernek a képe, a, mondjuk a Calvin téren négy emelt magasba, egy, egy, egy reklámon, akkor azért akkor nehéz volt bárhova is elmenni. Igen. Most már azért jobb a helyzet sokkal. Jobb a helyzet, de mi most megtesszük, amit meg kell tennünk, azért, hogy Korné harmadszor veszik elő ezt a zsákot, és legalább ilyen jó minőségben még soha. Na de most megtesszük azt, amit az NBA segítségével meg tudunk tenni a Korné brand építéséért. Azt a meccset küldte el nekünk, ugyanis az NBA még emellett, amelyek Magyarországon soha nem látott felvételek egyébként. Korné először volt kezdő az NBA-ben ezen a mérkőzésen. Nézzük meg ennek a meccsnek az összefoglalóját. Hát szenzációs. started as an NBA player and I think one of the reasons is that Cornell had a real solid game against Cleveland last Tuesday night off the bench he had 16 points in 27 minutes and this uh, matchup he'll probably start the game on Andrew de Klerk, so his responsibility is going to be keeping him off the boards and then Cornell's had a couple of difficult games he he played last night but really wasn't as effective as he would like to be so maybe start here gets him going too our officials for the ball game this evening Bernie Fryer, Ted Barnhart, and Jim Kinsey. Right now, early in this game, that's the type of shot you want to get him. Going, spins, gets it out. Cornell from 15, and Cornell David with the jumper. And that's a good find by Tony. He recognizes the fact that he's getting double teamed. It's another week. Goals with a one point lead. Almost picked off by the clerk. Cornell David, baseline jumper, he's got two buckets already. Now those shots are going to be available. Cleveland will double team a lot, especially post situations. That just came off the gamble. The foot played the passing lane, didn't get them out. Randy Brown gets it back to Tony. Goes by the court, runs into a lot of help. Cornell David from 17 hits again, and they have double teamed three times off the impact, but that's great awareness from Tony. He shook the clerk out on the floor, got to the baseline, you can see his head was up, and he, those are shots, they're available to him, he's got to go ahead and take that. Nice catch. Oh, great fit from Cornell David, he let the clerk go by and then laid it in. Uh, the Bulls are doing a great job of running early, throwing the ball up the floor, and getting some quick shots, not allowing Cleveland every possession to stack up defensively. Uh, Dickey with two fouls. Remember last night against Miami as we see Cornell David off the terrific pass. Remember last night, Dickey got the two fouls early, and without Mark Bryant, the Bulls really had a disadvantage. Forced him to take a contested jump shot, and Sean Kemp was able to knock it down. Cornell David goes on top for Hart, shot clock at 11 and 10. As Hart brings it to the right side. Got it right there. Hart goes in, hangs in the air, put it up. Cornell David with the offensive rebound. Tips away from everybody. The ball goes out, and finally Cleveland comes up with it. And Cornell David a little bit upset with Henderson. That's Randy Brown with a steal, pushes it up the floor. Finds Cornell David. The hammer. He really wanted that one. Henderson inside for Kemp. And after in the first, and the Cavs lead the Bulls 24 to 23. Now Cornell David goes up high. Tony Stuco has it on the dribble. Starts to back his way in. Shot clock at three at two. Cornell David top of the circle. Jumper and he hits again. You get the idea that Cornell David may be in Chicago for a long time. He is the type of player this city will embrace. Got the basket and the foul. Cornell David makes a play at one end, runs to the other end, gets the pass from Tony Kukoc, makes a fake, lets the defender fly by, and then drops it in. Now he'll go to the line, chance for a three point play. We see Tim Floyd talking to Charles Jones, and they wonder if he's not saying, was Sean Kemp that far off the block 
If you want to come that aggressively and double team, it really opened up the floor for Cleveland. Where Brevin Knight was able to get a, a pretty easy shot. 13 points and two assists for Cornell David. And the Bulls trail by five now with just that penetration. But Dickey Sifters has to be careful. The Bulls are trying to do a lot off the dribble right now. And Dickey tried to dribble into traffic. And Brevin Knight, he's always right around the ball. So you put it around there, he's going to take it away from you. Harp with the fake, finds Cornell David. Fadeaway jumper from 16. And Cornell David has had a great game. He gets his, his first start, 15 points, two assists. He's 7 of 8 from the field. You see, he works himself into areas. He just didn't. But Cornell from the weak side found a gap right at the free throw line, filled the gap, relieved the pressure, and then drove the ball to the basket. Now he's got a long way to go in understanding this game, but I think his instincts are pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, he, we had lunch uh, in Miami the other day. Bill Wennington and Cornell we talked a little bit about you know how much fun are you having and he's he's having a terrific time well, he and I hadn't had a lot of chance to talk before that I was amazed at how how well he speaks and understands the language because early in the season that's one of the things Tim Floyd talked about was that he was having problems understanding but he has I'll tell you he has done 15 left here in the third Very time. Drives baseline, tried to get it inside, ball loose, Carr on the other end, picks it up, now gets the jump off, it's short, Cornell David right there, missed that, got it again, put that one up, got it, got it in the foul for Cornell David. And Randy Brown jumps up in his arms. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Randy do that. Well, you just have to love the effort. Uh, Corey Carr has, he takes a tough shot, but Cornell just keeps moving, doesn't give up on the play, and just outworks everybody underneath. This guy, I'm telling you, will be a hero in this town. Well, you know, this is a nice game for him because he, he didn't play that well the last two games. And he got the start tonight. He made a couple perimeter shots early in the game. And now he's got... Who spawned? Ez volt ezen a meccsen. Hát először is nagyon szépen köszönöm. <laughs> Tényleg, az, azért ez, ez <laughs> nagyon, nagyon, nagyon jól esik. Köszönöm szépen, hogy hát ezt, ezt megszereztétek, és, és tényleg ez... Nagyon régen láttam ezt. Tényleg? Aha. Na jó van. Mi köszönjük. Vannak egyéb terveink is, de ezekről most még nem beszélünk. Baska, én, nem én amikor néztem ezt a bejátszót, ma délután Galuska megmutatta, hogy teljes egészében már magyar felirat, én néz néztem, és így... <gül> így hogy, hogy, hogy ez ezekért keltem föl reggel hétkor, hogy a Ricsi bemondja a iradóban, hogy Dávid Kornél ma játszott, 5 perc, 3 lepatlanul, két gólpassz. Na, hát ez csoda, én megkönnyeztem. Főleg látom, hogy Kornél is örült, hogy én már ilyen szentimentális vagyok. 